face off against Gyro of the Zapelli clan? Is this Gyro of the... Oh, I saw this team. Someone had mentioned this team to me. Gyarados, Dialga, and Spiritomb. Uh, I don't know what it does. I really don't. All I know is Snarl Eveltal is going to be my best friend in this game. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go Eveltal Toxtricity. I think Landris is going to be pretty nice as well. And I think my Urshifu is kind of iffy depending on if the... Um, on if the Dialga is running ground coverage, which I believe is going to be like Trick Room, Protect, Steel Dragon, so I should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does. My wallet in my back pocket is hurting me because I'm sitting on it. And that isn't because it's particularly fat. I have like $3 in here, or 8 as a 5 but yeah, it, it, was, it was getting annoying there. I got $8 to my name. I'm a high roller. Jin, invite me to the high roller, um, the high roller discord. I got, oh no, it's $9. Yeah, man, I'm rich. $9. AV Gyarados, that's what I figured. Probably like AV Snarl, Icy Wind, etc., etc., etc. What I want to do is just Acid Spray something and be done with it, you know? Obviously, I can't Acid Spray the, um, the Dialga, which could be kind of annoying, but I should be fine. I should be fine. Snarl, like this team hates Snarl from what I can tell. Gyarados Lando, I'll take it. Is this a KO? That's the question. Can I double into the Lando and get a KO? Um, you have a Poke Pace for your team? Not yet. It's actually part of a series I'm running right now where like, you don't get the information on the team unless it like wins a vote. It's it's like a collaboration series with Bryce Manby. So. My Dark Aura went before the Intimidate, right? Someone please tell me my Dark Aura went before Intimidate. Someone please tell me my Dark Aura went before Intimidate. It did, right? Because I'm just going to Acid Spray and Dark Bulls if that's the case. Like, I don't need Toxtricity for this game. It's nice for Gyarados, but I think it'd be cool just to get rid of Lando. Someone let me know. Did my, did my thing go first? Anyways, I'm just going to hope it did. Oh, it's Scarf. Yep, my bad. Oh, man, I wasn't paying attention and that messed me up. I was I was too busy talking to chat. Lies, the Dark Row was not first. Thank you, chat. You've ruined me. <laughs> All right. It's a bit of damage, but I can go ahead and just go for my move, uh, my, my funny move this next turn. Let me go into my Lando. Long time lurker, love your content. I'm currently avoiding the paper I have to write <laughs> uh, tomorrow for uni. Hey, I, I appreciate you stopping in. Even if it's to avoid your responsibilities, I still appreciate it. I mean, it's just a free Oblivion wing. We know what this thing's about to do. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn. Uh, on the Gyarados, since someone had mentioned it's AV. That was really unfortunate. <laughs> I was really hoping that my Dark Row went first, but I looked away! I looked away! Yeah, they withdraw, because I can't really hit anything. Um, could be Dialga. Samungus, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to two-shot this thing. There's the Oblivion Wing. I'm gonna get like all of my health back right now. And yeah, more or less. More or less. I wish I U-turned on that thing now, as they're actually faster than me, but that's fine. Because they're gonna take Rocky Helmet Chip. Kinda wish, oh, of course they flinch me. Actually, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Because now I can Oblivion Wing U-turn. And as long as they're not like Citrus Berry, they're usually Rocky Helmet. Uh, this should KO. This should KO. But yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was kind of unfortunate on my end. As they withdraw, um, nothing really takes this. I mean, I guess Dialga would, but it's not like I don't just Snarl you next turn. So it's whatever. There's the Oblivion Wing. Give me a little bit of my health back. Yeah, I'm just going to start clicking Snarl soon. 
can also get in stack. All right, please don't flinch me again. That'd be great. I mean, the first one was kind of beneficial, but this one would be annoying. All right, there we go. I can tell Lando's going to be clutch later. Um, I mean, I already lost one of my four times ground weak mons. What's the likelihood that this... I don't... I, I feel like if you're running Earthquake plus Telepathy Dialga, you're not running ground coverage on Dialga, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and go for a KO here. I could actually Trick Room and it, it wouldn't really hurt me that much. Actually, I think it... No, it would hurt me versus, like, you know, Amoongus. Actually, I could predict him and just go for a Trick Room Snarl. Yeah, Dark Ball's probably better. I'm going to predict him. I'm just going to go for Trick Room on his Trick Room. So withdraw. I'd really love if that could be... Okay, that's Lando. That's not terrible because I just go into my own Lando. And if I Trick Room down your Trick Room, we're in a pretty good spot. It's definitely not AV. Where's the Flash Cannon? Uh, it seems that I Trick Roomed on his not Trick Room, which isn't great, but it's also not the end of the world um, because Stack Attack, it can go kind of stupid. Probably not in Sucker Punch range, but I could just go for Sucker Punch plus um, Rock Slide and be fine. Or even Gyro Ball is like safe. At this point, I don't feel like reversing my Trick Room. <laughs> I actually Body Press is technically safest because there's no way he doesn't drop to that. And if he does drop to, like, a crit Sucker Punch, or if my Sucker Punch just somehow naturally KOs, uh, then I get the Dialga as well. Yeah, so this Body Press should do it. Nice. Get a little bit of a Beast Boost there. A little, a little bit of a Beast Boost. Is the Draco Meteor. I, I mean, I'm gonna eat that Schmeteor like it's nothing. What I tell you, like it's nothing, Schmeteor. Anyways, um, should be safe to body press into the Dialga, cause I just go into my um my Lando here. I'm safety goggles on my stack, so I'm fine. As long as I can like spiral out of control, I'll be fine. Going to Lando. I don't really need that to beat Gyarados. Um, and if it goes to sleep, it's whatever, because I'm just going to intimidate later on. Body press the Dialga. It'd be really cool if he just rage powdered here. That'd be really, that'd be really, really sweet. And if I get this uh, body press off, that means like for the rest of the game, my body presses are just going to be neutral and everything. So that's cool. All right, that's fine. Uh, I definitely want to keep my Lando purely for Intimidate purposes. I'm going to double it out into my Eveltal. Uh, and I should... I mean, I forgot... I didn't get any damage off on the Gyarados yet. Technically, I think my play is to predict in Rock Slide. It'd be really cool if you could just waste it. <laughs> Dude, my voice cracks so much when I when I have a dry throat. It'd be really cool if they could just waste a turn trying to spore me. But they should probably know I'm safety goggles since that's like the stack attack item. <clears throat> also, I might be able to like sucker punch this Gyarados next turn if this works out. Yeah, uh, that should be in range of sucker punch plus uh, sucker punch sucker punch plus body press. And we know it's AV Gyarados, so I'm just going to go for it. Actually, technically, I should just Rock Slide. Technically, I should just Rock Slide because it beats the... um, It, it could stop a possible Amoongus um, Spore in case they decide to protect. So if I connect both of these, I'm fine. I'm pretty sure they're just going to Spore, and if they Rage Powder, this also accounts for that. And at plus one defense, there's no way I get KO'd by Gyarados. Not when it's like AV. Yep. 
All right, that's fine. I honestly didn't think that would KO, mainly because I'm like uninvested with a timid nature. It's four, that's fine, that's fine. Whew. Obviously, Dialga is going to come out here. My play is literally just to go ahead and hit it. <laughs> And then body press is technically unresisted by Amoongus. I'm going to go into my Lando here. And as long as they're not um, Earth Power, which I don't think they are if you're running Telepathy plus Earthquake, because it seems like a waste of a move slot, I should be fine. This is getting a little bit close, but it's it's not terrible. I think I'm playing my endgame fine. I really doubt it's Earth Power. I'm saying that as a cope. I'm pretty sure it is. It's probably not, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm coping. Flash Cannon, I should tank that pretty easily. I'd actually go for it in the Lando, which is fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and take this thing away from you and start body pressing. Yep, there's the Spore, and thank you for your Dialga, sir. At plus two defense, this is essentially an unresisted body press, and your Amoongus is too low to do anything about it. There's my beast boost. And we're balling. We are now officially in balling range. I would say I, I played that pretty well for someone who completely messed up the first turn by not paying attention to the order in which moves came out. If, if you're just tuning in, um, first turn... Scarf Lando was obvious, and I just didn't notice it because I was talking to chat. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have seven body presses. You don't beat me. Unless they have, like, Grass Knot and they just crit. Clear Smog. That doesn't affect my stack. God, you are getting nanated on right now. I wonder if this KOs. Pretty strong. Not quite, not quite. Are you Rocky Helmet? Yep. So I called the item earlier. That's awesome, that's awesome. Savvy, thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully you're not a raid bot, that would suck. That would suck, suck, suck. And we get the win, nice. That was pretty baller. Pretty baller. Alright. We need to show the world the Toxtricity power. Uh, I don't know what time I'm going to switch over to Unite. I, I definitely want to play a little bit of Unite tonight because I want to start streaming that. Would you guys do me a favor and just hang out with me while I play Unite? Even if you're not into it, give it a chance. I'd really appreciate you if you did. And wow, that is a cool Xerneas team. This is a cool little Xerneas team. Um, It really, really, really hates my team though. I can tell you that much. Let me go ahead and lead off with my boy. I think I, I think I'm actually gonna lead off Eveltal and Lando. And this might seem odd. It might seem a little bit odd, but I think it's fine. Literally, just because I bring like stack Amoongus. And what that lets me do is it lets me. Um, maybe I don't because it, it could be kind of bad. They lead off Goth. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. This is, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward. I know, a Gothitel can be kind of annoying for me on lead. Um, because if they end up going Goth Xerneas, I sort of have limited options, but beyond that, this is pretty solid. If they go, like, in Sin, I'm fine, because I just U-turn out and Snarl. Yeah, this is a really cool team. This is a very cool team. All right. Yeah, come on, Sonora. That's actually really great for me. Mainly because what I can do here is I can assume it's like overcoat. And my play is just going to be to U-turn out. Go right in the stack. And the reason I'm going right in the stack is because there's no way they're going for a fighting movement. 
They're probably gonna set up or something. Um, and I mean, they're probably not soundproof. I guess we could try to call Clinging Clinger a soul, but it's not really a call we can make. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and Oblivion Wing here. Yeah, I'm gonna U-turn out. Actually, I should technically go into my Amoongus. Uh, definitely just because Amoongus, like, walls every hit from Kamo. Um, and it has Regenerator, so if I do end up switching in on a pretty powerful hit, I get some health back. They withdraw the Kamo, that's fine. They send out the Kartana. Alright, uh, let's see who you faked out. This is gonna matter quite a bit. Oh, buddy, you don't know what you just did. Buddy. Listen, pal, that better be AV or you're in trouble. That was not AV. Buddy. <laughs> Friend, that was not Assault Vest. Uh, I mean, I I'm just going to Sucker Punch here. The reason I'm going to Sucker Punch is literally just because, like, I, I, I can't see a reason not to Sucker Punch. Um, Kartana could protect, but if it does, it's like, Whatever. Because I'm just going to Sucker Punch you next turn. I could U-turn out here. And try again in my Amoongus. But I don't know if that's really worth it. I think I'd rather just Earth Power and U-turn next turn. Yep. Bye, Kartana. Yeah, that's, that's why we run AV Kartana. I think AV Kartana... A lot of people who are, like, new to the game don't understand how good it is. But, like, AV Kartana can live special hits and that's the difference that is the av kartana difference all of a sudden you stop dying <laughs> and yeah like the focus sash set can do that but like a single priority move and it's gone at the very least av kartana can take like a thunderbolt in the, in the freaking um what's it called at least at the very least av kartana can take a thunderbolt into um like a moon blast you know it'll, it'll just like barely live or a fake out into a moon blast or fake out into anything my play here is going to be to Snarl every single time because they should always fake out my Lando. And... Yeah, I'm going to Snarl here. And I'm going to go into my Stack Attack Attacka. I could also go into Amoongus and just go for the Rage Powder into a, a second Snarl. Because I should take a Dazzling Gleam pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to go Stack. I'm going to go Stack. I think that's just safer. And if it is physical, like, body press, um, because we've seen, like, body press, iron defense, freaking, what's it called, uh, Kamo before, uh, then I'm definitely gonna want to keep my, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna want to keep my boy, um, what's his name? My child, Landers, around. I can just go ahead and try to trick room here. I'm just gonna trick room Snarl. I, I really don't need Evelta at this point. Actually, I suppose I could just go hard into my, <laughs> hard into my, um, what's his name? Lando right now? Just to make sure I don't die to, like, a Flare Blitz double up. Just Gyro Ball, and that should do it. I suppose they could also Parting Shot. I'm gonna go Lando, though. And I'm gonna attempt a Trick Room. Mm, no, they're just gonna double up anyway, so I'll just Gyro Ball. Because I think the play is always going to be like Flare Blitz plus Moon Blast and hope it KOs. Which it shouldn't. Because I'm Stack Attacker. And they're only at plus one. Except for their Incineroar. He's at minus one. 30 protects. Are you going to Parting Shot? Are you going to... What's, what's going on, bud? What's going on? It's going to go into Kamal. I guess I could have Trick Room there. I hate versing, uh, facing Zern personally. I think Zern isn't a terrible matchup most of the time. With Eveltal, it can be kind of tricky, but Stack Attack is like your best friend. So, yeah. Stack Attack isn't just my best friend. He's me. <laughs> Stack Attack is like my my soul. Uh, let me go ahead and U-turn here. I'm actually just going to hard switch in my Amoongus. Obviously, I have to be careful for Overcoat. Yep. 
Aura Sphere. I bet you he's Overcoat. I might lose this. It's gonna be kind of rough. Actually, it, it depends. It depends. It's Oh, it's Life Orb. That kind of screams Overcoat, in my opinion. I'm gonna go into my Stack Attacka, and I'm just gonna bait them out into... um. I'm gonna bait them out into Aura Sphering it. I'm gonna go for the Spore on the, uh, on the Xerneas. And then we have a Fighting Chance. Depending on a couple of things. Alright, double on to Eveltal. If he lets me get the spore off, it's just done. I'm gonna say it like that, it's just done. I'm I'm pretty sure this is gonna be overcoat on the um on the Kamoa. That's just like its best ability of this format. Mo protects? Okay, that tells me the Xerneas did not. There's the Moonblast, and he lets me get the Spore off. That's probably game at that point. Most likely game. Yeah. So I'm going to do here. Um, I should be faster than this Kamo. Kamo doesn't have very high speed. And he shouldn't attack into this thing with a fighting move, so I'm just going to go hard in the stack. I could Snarl again, technically, but it's a little risky. I'd rather just get rid of Kamo if possible. And, yeah, next possible turn, I'm going to Trick Room. Also, that I don't know if he has flamethrower. Really don't. It's even Cinera's like figgy bear or something. It's probably safety goggles, so he has like double goggles pretty much on this team. Alright. Let me go ahead and do this. Snarl up. Try to save my <laughs> try to save my son. Uh, I can attempt a trick room. I'm probably not gonna get it. But if I get the snarl off, Eveltal safe to take at least one hit. Alright, yeah, it stays asleep, so if I get the Snarl, Eveltal can take, like, at least a, a Moonblast. Since we're just that bulky. We are just that chonky, dude. We are just so chonky right now. I'm chonking. Alright, yeah, stack flinches. Um, As far as defensive plays they can make, uh, I see no reason to Trick Room now. Or I suppose there's a good reason to Trick Room. There's, there's a pretty good reason. To, there's, there's, there's a pretty good reason. Because it makes it easier to win, that's why. Xerneas woke up, Xerneas is going to protect, and that's why we Trick Roomed! Hey guys, I want you to take a wild guess as to who's faster right now, Xerneas or Eveltal? Right? Crazy. Crazy. Anyways. Uh, my play here is to hope he doesn't get a double protect. Doesn't Aura Sphere mess me up. It's gonna Oblivion win this thing. I mean, I could... The thing the thing is, I could risk the Gyro Ball KO right now. But it's just straight up not worth it, because if he gets a double protect, I probably lose. I'm just gonna go into Amoongus, because it's safer. Because they should always go for the double protect on the Xerneas, and try to KO my stack. Yeah, there it is. And that's why we switched. That's literally why we switched. The Aura Sphere. Yeah, Kamoa Xerneas is such a cool combo. I remember seeing Brady Smith use it a while back. Um, too bad Kamoa's gone. Stack MVP. Stack straight up the MVP. I mean, Eveltal technically got all the KOs this game, but Stack still the MVP.
Hey Xerneas, guess who's getting snarled and put to sleep? Actually, no. We're embarrassing you. You are losing to Eveltal. <laughs> They're probably just going to forfeit. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, it'd be really funny if I just like Oblivion winged them to death. Uh, but it, it wouldn't be worth my time. I just figured for one turn it'd be funny. Cool team. Love equals love. Okay. This is actually really scary. Um, Dracovish on Calyrex. Actually kind of picking up right now. It's, 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 it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Uh, however... Do I fear it a little bit? Do I care that much? A little bit. Am I going to lose this game? Maybe. Um, I can lead off Scarf Tox. That's only if they don't like lead off with the Calyrex Shadow. I think I'm going to go ahead and go Amoongus on lead. I think Amoongus Veltal is about as neutral as I can get this matchup. Uh, mainly because it lets me Rage Powder away the... Rikovish and not just lose to that. In the back here, uh, I'm probably going to want to bring my Urshfu water, and I think my own Lando isn't terrible. I could also make a case for Toxtricity, but I think it's just safer. And Unite, will you use Mamo? I haven't gotten the points to unlock Mamo yet, and I'm also a slow bro main, so I'm just going to see what it's like playing against Mamo and get mad when I lose. That's sort of my game plan for tonight. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's why we did this. So. So. What are the odds he's not Sasha Lecky? I'd really love just to put that thing to sleep. But I need my Evelta to win this game. I, yeah, I need to spore that thing. I'm going to go ahead and go... I'm going to sack the Lando kind of early. I think. I can Actually, I'm going to go Urshifu here. I'm going to go Urshifu here. Do I? Let me think. No, I don't. Okay. Get in the Lando, and I have to absolutely go for a spore. They could double into me. You know, that's just a risk I'm willing to take. But this should allow my Amoongus to live like any double. Um, and I suppose we'll find out if they're faster now. Their Electroweb. If Dracovish goes for sub, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind if Dracovish goes for sub right now. Yep. That's fine. I was cool making that trade. That was just part of the deal. That was just part of the deal there. Let me go ahead and get rid of this uh, Regieleki. It should die to this. They're probably going to Electroweb anyway, so I'm not going to bother Rage Powdering. I'm just going to go for a... Um, I'm going to go for, like, Surging Strikes into the freaking... All and puff. And they could volt switch on me, but they don't really have anything to switch into both of these. Mirror V, thanks for the sub, dude. What's up, Marcos? Made a new Licky Licky team, and not gonna lie, it goes hard. Best thing I've done was one hit KO Calyrex Shadow with knockoff with no investment. Ooh, that's actually kinda actually kinda spicy. Oh yo, he made a big mistake. He's gonna need some milk. He's gonna need some milk if this KOs, which I think it should. Get him the milk. Guys, we need the milk like ten minutes ago. The milk was needed 10 minutes ago, and you have not gotten him milk yet. Dracovish stays asleep. Amazing, incredible, absolutely phenomenal. I am literally crying right now. I also keep my sash, which is pretty baller. Um, if Dracovish doesn't wake up here... Actually, if they go Calyrex Shadow, I actually think my play is straight up just to let my... Um, to let my Urshfu take the bulk of that hit and go for the close combat into the Dracovish. Yeah, there's the Calyrex. 
Uh, this is kind of an interesting situation. Because I should, on paper, beat Calyrex with literally just, like... I'm going to close combat here. I should, on paper, just beat Calyrex with Eveltal. I'm going to protect here. Uh, it's kind of risky. I, I could Rage Powder to make sure I always keep my Urshifu. But then I might lose my Amoongus if they uh, go into Ndidi here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to protect. Okay. If Dracovish stays asleep, I just win, I think. Astro Barrage. Incredible. I'm going to say something controversial. Moxtricity. That is all. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, and it's not Scarf. I guess we could have told that from the previous turn, but I didn't pay attention. Because I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Whatever. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Uh, here I'm going to go ahead and... Aqua Jet. And I'll go into my Eveltal. I could actually go for a Spore here, technically. But I think it's safer just to go into Eveltal. Oh, that's the wrong button. I don't think they brought the Ndidi. I think they thought Ndidi was a little bit risky in this matchup, so they just left it at home. Yeah, that means they stayed in with their Dracovish if I switched out first. It'd be really funny if Dracovish wakes up and protects. That's, that's some bulk on the Dracovish, though, I can tell you that, because it usually doesn't take close combat that well. Master Barrage. Watch this bounce off of me. I'm also pretty sure that's Sash on the... E, not the Evelto, on the Calyrex. Is that a crit? Okay, just in the Urshu. I thought it was a crit on my Evelto. I'm like, that did a lot. What if it's Specs? That'd be crazy. Anyways, uh, if it is Specs, I suppose my play... It, it could be Specs. It, it could be Specs, judging by that damage, because I'm AV. It shouldn't do that much. I'd like to Snarl here. I think that's always my best play. Obviously, a Rock Slide could hurt, um, but I'm pretty bulky, so... You know, they also can't flinch me. They need to, like, crit me to win. I think they're Specs. I'm going to look after this match. I think the only way I lose is if they're like Stone Edge now. Is they Sludge Bomb? Yeah, I should just win because I Sucker Punch next turn and then they're done. Or they just drop. Yeah, that's Specs. There's no way they're not Specs because I was going to say like my Aveltal should take that so easily. All right. Um, I suppose here I go for Spore. And Sucker Punch just for damage. Because he's going to outspeed me. And this is mainly just to cover the possible Rock Sled. Like, obviously I just end up winning anyways, but... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'd like to take a look at that team, because I think I called the Specs, right? Especially if you drop to a single Snarl. Like, you should be Sash if you're not taking Life Orb Recoil. <laughs> Funner isn't a word, or funnest isn't a word. It is the most fun, or more fun. It's a word, in my opinion. It became a word when I decided. When you're still going to see, you know, they're just doing life orb and specs damage. It wasn't even that. It was literally just that that did more than it should have, and he took no life orb recoil. <laughs> um, I see very little reason not to lead off Eveltal Toxtricity here. This could go kind of stinky. It's going to go kind of stinky. I'm going to put it that way. Uh, let me go Lando, stack attack -a. I could bring my Urshifu. And honestly, Urshifu wouldn't be that bad. But body press? Hello? It'd be funny. It'd be funny. I, I literally can't leave stack attack at home. Stack attack is like our best tool against each other. And we're probably both goggles. I think the only difference between like Pokemon that we share is he's probably like... 
I guess, Rocky Helmet on his um, Amoongus. Another late night guard duty, another Moxie stream. Hey, I'm glad I can help you out, man. I'm glad, I'm glad I can entertain you while you're on guard duty. Eveltal and Reginald Alecki on God in this house. Clearly, this guy's never made a burger before. All right, um, let me go hard into my Lando, and I'm actually just gonna Volt Switch on that Reggie Alecki to try to break its sash. Obviously, like I'm kind of scared of them doubling into my. Um, into my Toxtricity, but if I can break a Sash and a Lucky, that'd be great. I think they probably are. A lot of, a lot of times, they just disrespect the Toxtricity and don't let you do anything with it. <laughs> if they have a Reggie or Lucky, they'll, they'll probably disrespect. Let's see if they Electroweb. I'd like to imagine they just double into my, I mean, they could just double into my, um, Evolta, but they don't have to. They do Electroweb. Let's see if it misses my Tox. That'd be great. It does not. Um, I'm probably slower than the Seveltal now because I am Scarf and I just lost it and I took a critical hit. It'd be great if I wasn't though. It'd be great if I wasn't slower. I'm not. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so now that talk, now that Regieleki is actually in Sucker Punch range, so I can get back in my guy. I can get back in my dude, and then this game becomes a lot easier. Electro Ball Scarf Reggie Lucky always feels like cheese. I don't care how good the team is. I don't care how consistently you win. It feels like cheese. And that's probably just because Reggie Lucky is made of cheese. Little known fact about the Pokemon VGC metagame. Reggie Lucky is indeed made of cheese. Who would have thought? You learn something new every day, right guys? Uh, let me go ahead and deny him any form of recovery. I guess I can just protect her. I could also U-turn. I'd, I'd like to U-turn out on the Seveltal. And Sucker Punch the Regieleki. Bye, Reginald. Oh yeah, baby, we're gaming. You see, a couple of seconds ago, we weren't gaming. But now we are gaming. Profusely. I think that's my favorite adjective, profusely. Because it's just gross. It's a gross word. Profusely. I am gaming. Profusely. In the Tox. If he doesn't bring in the Lando here, I'm actually in a really, 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 really good spot. He could even bring in a Moongus and I wouldn't be in a terrible spot. There's the Incineroar. Um, I smell disrespect. I smell disrespect coming out. Let me snarl him back just to incentivize a switch. And go into my Lando. Because he should probably fake out Toxtricity. And I'm going to Snarl to incentivize a little switchy switch. Because he doesn't have the tech like me. He's not running Acid Spray. It's not like he can still KO things. See, if I was at neutral, I would gladly have gone for Acid Spray into Oblivion Wing on that thing, but I'm not. So it's just going to be like if I never, you know, got out of neutral. <laughs> hey, that's good. Get the little Snarl off. Limit this guy's ability to do anything this game. He probably Snarled as well. It's fine. We all have those days. We all have those days. There's the foul play. Yo, I don't care. I am literally minimized in my in my like defense investment or my attack investment. Uh, I'm gonna snarl again, and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and U-turn on this Incineroar. I don't mind losing Lando this early. I think it's actually pretty fine because if I can get in, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, U-turn on the Incineroar, snarl again. Maybe I just get back in my Tox here. Yeah, if I get in my Tox here and I don't go down. And I just lose my Lando, that'd be great. Because then I get a free switch into the boy, and then it's time to start clicking the meme button. Oh my god, we're gonna we, we get to click the meme button soon. 
As long as he didn't Flare Blist, if he just went for like a parting shot, we're going to click the meme button. That's going to be really funny. Yep, there it is. All right. Um, I would really, really love if he could just go into like, uh, I don't know, this or something. Something a little saucy like that. There he is. There's the boy. So he thinks that he's going to take this hit. I'll just put it like that. This guy thinks that he's about to eat this hit. He's not. He's not going to eat the hit. Actually, he might. I don't know. It depends on how he built his Amoongus. Um, because I am running Timid. I used to be modest, so this was always like a guaranteed KO. But now it's kind of iffy. Still pretty strong, though. Still pretty strong. Let me Oblivion Wing. Acid Spray. Oh, little Amoongus. Please tell me you Rage Powdered. That'd be the best outcome for me. Thank you. I'm low-key ant for toxicity. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yes, I see what you did there. Oh, please tell me you didn't protect. That would have been great. If you did, kind of sucks. Oh, well, you know. Bet you he did. He didn't. Okay, I might just take this thing away from you now, depending on if you're like Koba Berry or whatever. He's not Koba. I think this just KOs. It's going to be close, though, because Amoongus. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we win. That was the funny button. We got to click the funny button. Um, My play here is actually just to switch out my Tox, because I don't think he has Sucker Punch. He might have Sucker Punch. Like the By, by the way he's been playing, I'm going to say Sucker Punch. Um, but having Tox at the ready... Start clicking buttons would be great. And I, I just click Rock Slide from now on, honestly. Um, I'm going to Snarl him to make sure he can't recover as much from me. And I'm going to go into Stack. Got top 50 today with Toxtro City. Hey, respect. Re respect, dude. Respect. Aquatic Frog, how you doing? It's going pretty well. We haven't dropped a game yet today. I think we're on like our fourth or third. No, we're on our fourth. And we just got a really nasty KO with Tox. Or Tox plus whatever. There's the Oblivion Wing. That was specifically to avoid you getting much health back. And I think we win if we literally just click Rock Slide for the rest of the game. Throat Chop. Oh, he was trying it. Actually, that's interesting that you would go for that into Evoltol. I guess it's to stop the Snarl, but still, like, I probably just win by doing this. Uh, let me Oblivion Wing. I don't care if you broke your leg. I'm going to Body Press here. In case he decides to go for like... Uh, I don't know, he might have Protect. He probably doesn't. But this is just a safer KO on the Incineroar. Like if he Parting Shots, I just get it regardless. Unless he's Barry. Which he very well might be, but I'm pretty sure he's AV. Or not AV, um, Safety Goggles. Oh, he is Barry. This might still KO though. That's how nasty this move is. Yikes, okay. Crit, probably gonna matter in the long run, but not too much. Okay, that hurt. We don't get the KO, but I just click Snarl here. I don't click Snarl, because I can't. See? See? I can't click it. Actually, can I? I'm pretty sure I can't. Because he just throat chop me. Give me Oblivion Wing. Uh, I'll give him the stack, mainly because I definitely just win with my own Eveltal. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> it depends if he has Rock Slide. That's just, that's how I'm going to put it. It depends if he has rocks or not Rock Slide, Sucker Punch. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, yeah. Good game, good Toxtricity game. in the back could be really nasty. And I actually tend to bring Urshifu to this matchup purely because um, it's really nice for taking out Incineroar and, you know, just clicking close combat. And the Sash is really useful. Is the ladder reset at midnight tomorrow? Yeah, pretty much. I'd like to finish top 500. You know what else resets tomorrow? Well, not tomorrow, but like, you know, at, at, on, on October 1st. The sub goal, if you want to support the channel, it is September. Today's the last day to get like 20% off a sub or something. And if I hit 50 subs before the end of September, 
Obviously, I'm going to stream on Saturdays. Because I now have an incentive to stream on Saturdays. <laughs> There's a person called Candace in my stream right now. <gasps> what? Well, that just can't be. I don't know any any Candace. Are you sure? I'm a bit concerned. You might be lying to me. What? Hey, could it be a, a Yo Mama style joke? I have no idea. I really hope this isn't Safety Goggles Raikou. That ruined my day. rage powder. I probably get the most out of just putting it to sleep though. Uh by toxicity. Please don't be safety goggles, Raikou. <laughs> Alright. Scarf or er, Scarf Kyogre confirmed. It's great to know. Great to know, great to know. Critical hit on Amoongus, that is awful, but I am Barry, so I should get that back in a moment. Let's see if they Volt Switch. If I could Spore that thing, that'd be awesome. Okay, Thunder, yeah, all right. Glad I Spored you. Please don't be Safety Goggles. Because if he is, we probably just lose. Critical hit, double crit, that's great. That's a Paralysis, okay. Can you get everything? Okay. Okay, yeah, safety goggles. All right, I think we lose. <laughs> I think we lose now. I'm just gonna put it out there. I think we lose. Dang, that was probably as bad as a turn one could have gone. All right, um... How do I come back from this? Even I don't know. I can just sucker punch... Yeah, I just lose. I probably just lose. I'll just forfeit. <laughs> I don't win that. Uh, you could stream it and make a video or two on it. Free content. Uh, you should do a sub-only tourney for a sub-goal. Uh, I, I did that once before. I did that once before, but honestly, like, streaming or, like, running tournaments is, like, very tedious and difficult. <laughs> Alright, rank 505. Let's get some points. Let's get these points. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just Mian Shao Calyrex. Standard Mian Shao Calyrex. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Eveltal. And my Lando. Actually, I can go. How did I do this again? I honestly forgot how I lead off versus this. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, and then I go with the stack in the back. And usually Lando, I believe, yeah. So the reason I lead off like this um, is purely because... That's not how I lead. I definitely just clicked the wrong lead. <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't think I'd lead off with my freaking Toxtricity versus this. I had um, a game like this similar and I completely forgot like how I'm supposed to lead it versus it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I'd really like to... Actually, I really like this lead. I really, really like this lead. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Acid Spray. And the Oblivion Wing. They've got, like, no switch into that. They could obviously protect, but I think it's in their best interest to follow me. Or Rage Powder, I mean. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that away from them. They probably expected to live it, but they are not. But I think they're just going to trick room here to make sure they don't end up losing to Calyrex. Or losing to um, Eveltal. And then they have like a really rough time. Then they have actually a super rough time versus Lando plus stack. 
But yeah, uh, I did the wrong lead, but it ended up working out, so I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, yo, Pog Champ? Pog Champ. It's gonna fake out here. Uh, I would assume, if anything, they would fake out probably Eveltal. I'm just making my double. Go into my stack on this slot. Go into my Lando on this slot. And they have a really rough time versus Lando. They really do. Especially if they fake out into the Lando. I'd really love if you could just fake out the Lando. I suppose they could have also, like... The reason I think they're going to fake out the, the Lando slot is because it was the Eveltal, and Eveltal should take a Rock Slide most of the time. So it's just safer to do that to ensure you get a KO. Oh, I didn't call it right. I guess they were calling a Sash there. Landris avoids. That is very poggers of you, Landris. I love you. I love you, bud. Love you so much. Uh, let me go ahead and U-turn Gyro Ball into this thing. Ooh, maybe I don't. Maybe just because body press is so good. I'm going to U-turn Gyro Ball. I should take one body press, so it's kind of risky, but... Yeah, uh, they could also, like, protect their stack attacker. Okay, cool, cool. See if they protect the Mian Xiao. They don't. Cool. Awesome. Oh no, you went down to your sash. What are you going to do? Anyways. Bye. Cool. Everything's going perfect. Everything's going perfect despite my 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 best <laughs> my best effort at messing up this lead. Let me go and go back into my tox here. I guess I go into Evelt all the bait out of hit. Is it Calyrex? It'd be funny if it was. It's Calyrex. It's pretty funny that it is. Um, I mean, obviously I don't have to like... <laughs> I don't have to like predict a Sucker Punch or anything. We saw it was we saw where the Focus Sash was, so I can just go into my Lando here. To intimidate, ensure I live a hit. Um, I'm gonna Snarl. Mainly because it's very unlikely they Wide Guard. And there's no reason to... I, I guess I technically Sucker Punch here purely because if they do get a Rock Slide off, then this prevents a flinch from stopping me from doing it. Technically, I Sucker Punch there. If they go for Sub, whatever, I'm just Snarling next turn. Yep, that thing's gone. Awesome, incredible. Uh, I definitely just win this match now. Do they body press? Yeah, they just go for the rock slide. Makes sense. They were banking on a flinch. And I think they I think they probably would have subbed there if anything. I think if you're going for the rock slide flinch play, you just sub. Nice. Clean little 4-0 there. Clean little 4-0. Good amount of points too. Definitely not. Your luck that I got of the perfect lead without predicting correctly. And I'm trying to, you know, be good at this game. So we'll do one more game. Uh, I think I've only lost one match so far tonight. We're facing a rank 349 player. So if we win this, we're definitely top 1k. Uh, is there actually Entei Calyrex? One of the cooler Calyrex comps, in my opinion. Um, I should be able to go Eveltal in this match. I think I, think I go like Eveltal... Tox, Urshifu, Lando. That feels right. That feels good. It feels beautiful. I feel good. I feel right. I feel beautiful. Um, alternatively, I could just go stack. <laughs> alternatively, I could simplify this matchup and just go stack. Yeah, I'm going to go Evelt all stack. Lando in the back. I think I'm going to guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot simpler. That's That's a bit simpler.
Yeah, I mean, like, you can be a slow bro main, and if the meta shifts, just simply play better. They go with the Urshifu Winsicott. Logic would dictate here that they would just go for the KO on the boy. Um, Probably Sash on the Whimsicott, if anything. I'm going to go ahead and Oblivion Wing this Urshifu. And switch in my Amoongus. I could also get in my Lando. A little bit riskier, and it would guarantee a KO if it's not Sash. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna say it's Sash on the. I'm gonna say it's Sash on the um on the Urshifu, and this is worth it purely just because I get a turn one KO, and I don't really need Lando as more of like a placeholder there. Um, it'll break the Sash since you know Amoongus tend to not Amoongus because um Wim's got tend to run Rocky Helmet, and it also prevents them from going for like close combat. Moonblast. Great, just tank that. And I am faster, so let's see if it is Sash. It's not. Cool, get all my health back. Uh, that is probably as good as this lead could have gone for me. All things considered, that is as good as this lead could have gone. Um, kind of have to be careful. Kind of have to be careful, mainly because... I'm pretty sure the Wimscott has the Sash, but there's also chances on Cali. Ooh, it could also be on you. I really wouldn't like it if it was on you. I'm gonna Sucker Punch you. I don't do that. I don't do that ever. Go into my Amoongus. Um, I'd rather get rid of Regia like you here. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna Earth Power. Yeah, Earth Power seems safe. If it's not Sash on the Reggie Lucky, that then it's like, yeah, this is fine. Helping hit. Oh, they were going for it. They were going for it. If I get hyper beamed, I would laugh so hard. They're like, there's a Calyrex in the back. We need to get rid of that thing right now. As it's not Sash, um, there are only two places the Sash could be now. This game is literally just, we're playing Where's the Focus Sash. That's what we're doing right now. Where's the Focus Sash? Not on you. Not on you. Hello, Calyrex. Is it on? Oh, it's Entei. Okay, the Focus Sash is probably not on that. <laughs> I'm going to say the I'm gonna say the Focus Sash is probably not on Entei. Um, a little bit concerned about an eruption, but honestly, if it's Scarf, that's probably better for me because then I can just Sucker Punch it after I Earth Power here. Yeah, they just forfeit. Clean. Hoggers. Pokey Jungle. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. Nice. Do we break top 1k right there? Probably. That was interesting. Um, We didn't get to find out where the Focus Ash was, and I'm kind of disappointed. So I guess we lost at the game of Find the Focus Ash. If we're top 1k, I'll stop for the night and switch over to Unite. 986, cool. Um, I mean, I think that's fine. I'm going to stop for the night, switch over to Unite.